Hi, this is Wyatt from Studio Paradiso. Many of you don't know, but I had a mural painted on the outside of the studio, and it was a beautiful graffiti mural that only lasted three weeks. And it was painted over because there was this a dispute with the landlord that resulted in a $2,000 fine, which I have to pay in two weeks. It was a very serious situation for me. I need to find a way to come up with this money or I have to relocate and most likely leave Capitol Hill. I've been in this location for three years. I love this space. I consider it an oasis, a refuge, but I also happen to have one of the funkiest, most bland exteriors of any building in the neighborhood, so it feels. Everything is being built up and developed and made all shiny and cool, slick looking. And I thought, how to counteract the fact that I have moss and tumbleweeds and debris and condoms and <laughs> syringes and various tagging uh, out there. Why don't I just call some of my friends who are just awesome graffiti artists and have them do a mural? Great idea, except the landlord doesn't like graffiti. And when he and I spoke about having a mural, he must have had something entirely different in mind. He freaked out, which was a total shock to me because I thought I was doing him a favor, um, basically free of charge. Top quality paint done by professional muralists resulted in a $2,000 fine and the mural being painted over back to a bland beige flat exterior within three weeks. People are saying, what the hell happened? That was awesome. We loved it. Neighboring businesses were thrilled. How do you win? I, I don't know. I was trying to do something good because I felt like this is exactly what we need in the face of all the excessive development that's taking place. I remember there was one uh, early on graffiti artist and his tag was revolt. And I think that is a, like a brilliant way to summarize that, the, you know, it's a, it's a rebel yell. It's a, it's a very defiant kind of we're not going anywhere attitude. And that's why I liked the mural so much. I think what I'm most angry about is the fact that there was a misunderstanding over art that clearly other people enjoyed and was it an improvement, something that some would even venture to say was beautiful. That is the problem here. Give me a break. If you value this, if this is something that you believe in or you participate in, I need your help. If I don't come up with $2,000 in the next two weeks, I will be moving everything into storage and Studio Paradiso will have to shut down. We don't want to see this happen. We need help. If you believe in art, life drawing, artistic expression, and keeping it on Capitol Hill, then any contribution that you feel that you can give would go directly to keeping the doors open and keeping Studio Paradiso alive. Thank you.